Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this rather fetching Euro cylinder is a Eurospec MP5. I thought I had a key for this, I had to search around for it, could not find one, so the bitting is as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. I will remove these circlips, therefore, around this cam piece so that when we do get to take this apart, hopefully we can do that without having to mess around taking uh, circlips off before we do so. Right, let me take the circlips off, throw it in the vise, we'll, well, well, we'll have a go at picking. So we are in the vise, I'm going to use a nice bottom of the keyway turning tool, a little L wrench, and we don't know the bitting but we do know it's five pins, I've got a nice gem style pick which has a almost like a half diamond profile, and um, we're going to go in a slight angle to get around this warding, just go straight into the back of the lock, pull back, and I can feel that pin one is binding, so let's lift that nicely. All the way to the top, wow, that's a very deep set pin. Okay, that's good. Pin four's binding, so we're just gonna get under that, and into a slight false set. Uh, check pin one's fine. Pin two's binding. A little bit of counter rotation as we lift. We've lost a false set, so go into pin four, and we've got it back. Uh, pin three now and a bit of counter rotation on three and back down four and we are open wow that was uh that was quite quick definitely a lot of spools when i hit pin four again it gave me some counter rotation and rocked back down so uh we got that fully open um now just need to figure out how to gut this and i think we should be okay if we're very careful Pin one is definitely a very short key, uh, very short pin. I know that much. And I, I, what I need to do is gently pull this plug or core out enough, just enough to let me get that cam tail piece out. And then have a look here and just see what I can do in terms of uh, shimming this or following it out. So I'm going to get a plug follower and a shim, and I'm going to see whether I can get a shim just under here, and I can, and push that there. Here's our plug follower, pins are there, so I'm just going to try and do this quickly. And we've got the plug out. Find my tweezers, which are somewhere, uh, typically not where I need them or want them. Ah, oh, they're over here. Here we go, of course they are. Why wouldn't they be somewhere sensible? And yeah, let's have a look what's inside. So pin one is standard driver pin. Two is a spool driver. Three is another spool, quite nice spools. That's why they give me some nice counter rotation. Um, four is a spool. I'm gonna tip out some springs if they'll come out. There we go, these are all I think steel. Put these there. Grab that other one. There we go. And the last pin, probably a spool. Let's have a look. No, a standard. I didn't feel I have to pick that one, so I think that we've got a very long. A key pin in position six and a very short one in position one. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, we can already tell that this is a long key pin and this one's a short one. Uh, let's have a look. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll just rearrange those a little bit. So all of these are standard key pins. And as we suspected, we do have a short key pin at the front, same shortness at pin uh, position four, not quite a zero lift, but very long key pin in position five, and then um, it's sort of, well, the bitting goes sort of from, uh, this would have been a high cut to a low cut to a very high cut to a low cut. So 
these would have been close to maximum adjacent cuts in that key. I wonder if I can ever find it, if I ever did have it at all. Well, there you go, that's a Eurospec MP5. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, leave them below. I do read them all and reply to as many as I can. If you have subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And of course, I'll see you all next time.